Virginia. UVA survives, but 16th seeded Gardner Webb gave them all they could handle. Quite a scare. The running Bulldogs led the Cavs by as many as 14 and never trailed in the first half. Wizards heat here at Capital One Arena tonight. It'll be the first home game of the 2018 season for Washington. It also might be the first game in uniform for Dwight Howard. We don't know yet or not whether he'll play. It will be a game time decision for the man once known as Superman. Dabo Sweeney communicated he was welcome to stay and be a part of the team. I want to know what you think about this. In my mind, this is why young people everywhere need mentorship. Somebody to step into their lives and say, hold on, wait a minute. You don't know what's going to happen next. Bryant missed a huge opportunity this week because of a lack of patience. Because basically he said, no, you're not going to take this opportunity away from me. It's Kelly B, baby. Me! Should Kelly Bryant have stayed at Clemson? Should he have waited his turn? Would things have been different on Saturday? As I mentioned, there's a little bit of a shakeup at the top, but let's start out talking about football. The top player on the ESPN 300 list of high school senior football players is Justin Fields. Those are comments made by NFL fans in response to a play that unless you were under a rock for the past week, you know about it. That's right, Jessup. The Redskins making some moves last night. They made a trade with the Denver Broncos for a quarterback. They give up a sixth round pick. They will get a seventh rounder as well as 31 year old Case Keenum. Case joins a long list of Redskins. Well, in fact, the Redskins have started 10 quarterbacks in just 10 years. Check out what we've done here. We've turned L'Enfant Plaza Station into quarterback Central Plaza. What do you think? Can you name all these guys? Bryce Harper is leaving. He's headed to Philly, and he's no longer Washington's favorite son. I want to know how this is impacting you. Do any of you have pets named Harper? What about Bryce? Are you going to have to change the name of your pet? For crying out loud, did any of you name your kids after the slugger? Let me know your thoughts. Hit me up on Twitter. We are at the dance, and it has brought us to Columbia, South Carolina for the first round of the NCAA men's basketball tournament, where the Virginia Cavaliers are the number one seed in the East region. This is not the Cavs' first time at number one. In fact, they have been there four times in the last six years under coach Tony Bennett. But the Cavs have yet to reach the final four in any of those trips to the big dance. Hey, the Cavs will be back on the court today at 3.10 this afternoon to get a chance to turn things around from last year. Coming up in about a half hour, we will talk about the VCU Rams. Does the Cinderella slipper still fit? One special fan has brought the Richmond community together around basketball. A family's loss, a community's heart broken. In 2018, Kevin and Rachel Woods VCU basketball fans had a precious baby boy, yet their son had a heart condition that began in the womb and led them from rejoicing over his birth into battle for his life. One of the Woods' passions quickly became one of their biggest allies. Throughout the season, everybody was playing for Team Baby Jacob. And it's just been something that's really galvanized the fans together. The VCU men's basketball team rallied around the couple and raised $22,000 for the Woods family's medical bills. Making sure that, you know, the family was, you know, they understood the appreciation that they have. Send a video to daddy. Baby Jacob lost his battle to congenital heart failure just a month ago. The rhythm three. Days later at the VCU game against St. Louis, Ram Nation cheered their team on with a sea of red in support of baby Jacob. It's great about what happens on the court and it's great that the fans go crazy, but the bond between the players and the fans is something that we, I don't think we talk enough about. And in moments like that, you get to see what really this atmosphere is all about. A tragedy showcasing the unity of this community. We also saw that back in 2011 when VCU made their improbable run to the Final Four. Well, their fans are here in Columbia in droves to see the Rams take on seven foot six Taco Fall and UCF here at Colonial Life Arena tomorrow night. It was a little over three and a half minutes into the second half before Virginia got their first lead. DeAndre Hunter powers it up. And the basket counts. And that ties it at 38. He's fouled. He goes to the line. And with 16 minutes and 16 seconds left in the game, Virginia takes their first lead. They would never trail again. I spoke yesterday about how tight Virginia was in the locker room, got to talk to some of the guys after the game and asked when they looked up and the scoreboard showed they were down by 14, did they ever think about last year? Most definitely, yeah. Uh, we, I, I 
personally thought about it a little bit. I, I didn't panic, but I was, I was feeling a little different about it. But once we got in the half, we, we were just able to lock in. And lock in they did. UVA gave up 36 points, and Gardner-Webb shot 53.6% from the field in the first half. But the Who's defense held the dogs to just 20 points the rest of the game. Look at this. Everything's playing for their lives. Uh, seniors don't want this to be the last game. It was really good to get this game not out of the way, but just play it and get a W because it was hard um, coming off last year to end the season how we did. Now Virginia fans' expectations are sky high. I think they're going to win the national title. You think they're going to go all the way? Yes. This is their year. I think last year motivated them all season long. Virginia moves on to round two. They will take on the Oklahoma Sooners. That'll be the late game here Sunday night at Colonial Life Arena. That's the latest from Columbia, South Carolina. I'm Joe Ball, ABC 7 Sports. There are five Virginia schools in the tournament. Two of them are here, VCU and UVA. And out of all the Virginia schools, you got to think UVA's got the most to prove. Guys, I got to tell you, there's a lot of pressure on UVA. I didn't see one player smile yesterday in the locker room. They are somber. And counter that to the way Duke is. We were in their locker room as well yesterday. Zion Williamson, he's a celebrity and the players are having to fight to get on the court for practice through a mob of photographers, but they're enjoying it. They're smiling, they're laughing, they're jumping on each other's backs. UVA, they may be all business, but I, it seems like they're feeling the pressure here. We just want to get past it, and um, we're not really thinking about what happened or anything like last week or last year. We just uh, go game, for, game by game. Watching the warm-ups yesterday, a lot of missed shots, a lot of moving around lethargically, but one guy who was like a machine, Kyle Guy, just nailing three after three after three. Watching him in warmups was a thing of beauty. They're going to need Kyle Guy to come up big on offense as they defend as the number one seed here in the East Region. In Columbia, South Carolina, I'm Joe Ball, ABC 7 Sports. Jenkinson's Pier on the Jersey Shore. Welcome to the second annual Super Steel Fit Championship here in Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey. I'm the New Jersey native, Kenny Santucci. Alongside me, my beautiful co-host, Heather Houseworth. This is a Sports Illustrated article where they caught LA making a uh, tackle against uh, Andre Ellington in the Clemson game. This is his red shirt freshman year. He had a pretty good red shirt freshman campaign. He was actually All-America honorable mention. My buddy actually saw this before I did. He contacted me, called me, and said, man, LA's in the Sports Illustrated article. I said, what? And ran out and bought every article that the store had. <laughs> very easy drive to the University of Maryland. It's about 15, 20 minutes from my house, straight down Route 193, drive past his old high school, drive past Theodore Roosevelt High School, Green Building, you're right there. No time flat. That's one of the pleasures of having him stay at home. You appreciate the moments of, of this short drive, remembering <clears throat> where we came from, what type of work it took for him to get there, where the future might lead for him, for the family and just reflect on all of it. It's beautiful. You got your head, uh, DJ? Yeah. Let's go Turks. We need this one today, right? Yeah. We need this one. They're here early. They just support me. They're my biggest enforcer. And for the 78th time, Virginia and Maryland meet in football. The final time as members of the Atlantic Coast Conference as the Terrapins next year head for the Big Ten. And this, in the words of Randy Etzel, the Tim and Scott, becomes the biggest game, most important game of the year for this Terrapin team. Sweet. Today is different because LA is going to be a captain, so 
we're going to be up there in full support of him. When I see my son go off with a coin toss, it just sends shivers up my spine. It's almost like I'm there on the field myself. I couldn't be more proud. I'm very proud of him. Great. It's your choice of the coin. What do you want? Tail. He wants tails with an ACC tail. coin, which is heads and tail. Here we go. It is heads. Hey. Let's go, Tom. Let's go. Seven with the clock running down to 40 seconds. This will be from the 32 yard line. It'll be a 42 yard attempt to give the Cavaliers the lead. When I was walking up the floor, I seen my parents. And I pointed to him just to let him know that I see him and I, I respect the support that they show me.